everyone. How's it going? Uh, if you've watched my channel before, I am one of those miners that also like doing CPU mining. And today you can see on the screen right behind me is Pulsar Coin. They've been out for a little while. They use the curve hash algorithm and they also do 50% proof of work, 50% proof of stake. You don't normally see that in a GPU mineable coin. Well, today that is going to change. Normally, when you mine Pulsar coin using Curve Hash, on a Ryzen 9 CPU, you can get around 200 kill hash, which is really good for that algorithm. Wild Rig Multi just flipped the tables massively. You can now GPU mine this at least 10 times more efficient than you ever could on a CPU. Let me switch over here. This is the current releases for uh, Wild Rig Multi. It started here with 31.8 uh, two days ago, up to three times faster curve hash. He just added it in, and it's crazy. Now, I just downloaded and added in manually into HiveOS 31.9 because HiveOS, this literally came out six hours ago. At the time of recording this, HiveOS has not pushed that out yet. It usually takes them about a day to push out these new updates to HiveOS. Um, and you can see here, Fix crashed on mixed rigs, which I was getting. I will get to that in a few minutes on one of my rigs. And improved curve hash up another one and a half times speed. It's insane. So let's switch over here. Everything's currently running 31.9. Now this is Octo 1. It is 86600 XTs. Now there is a API reporting bug in 31.9, but it is hashing. Uh, the error is false. The temperatures are false. It actually is working correctly, and it is hashing on those two cards. So if I go over to here, this is actually Octo-1, and you can see all cards are hashing there, working perfectly fine. And even if I go over here, double escape, and do an AMD, hold on, sorry for the flash people, AMD info, we're going to get all the information on all the cards here, and you can see even the last two cards, GPU 6 and 7, working perfectly fine, well within spec for temperatures, fans. It was just a bug in 31.9. So he's not done working on this. He's going to get it even better. But wow, look at this. It doesn't sound like much when people have been mining ET hash for years and they're used to seeing 6600 XTs doing 32 mega hash. It's only doing 2.2 mega hash. Put this in perspective though, this is not ET hash, it's curve hash. A 3900 XT usually does 200 kilo hash. I'm actually getting, I can't see because I got so many things on the screen here. 20.74 mega hash on this one rig here. That's absolutely insane. What is that actually? Hold on, let me see here. If I open up calculator here and we do, what's it, 20? Yeah, 20.7 mega hash divided by 0.2, 200 kilo hash. It would take over 100 Ryzen 9 CPUs to get this same hash rate. And I'm only doing it on eight cards at 566 watts. This is in an Octominer. That is the true wattage reading. That's all it takes. If you were going to run... Let's see here. Let me clear this out again. Let's go on the conservative side and say a Ryzen 9 CPU doing curve hash pulls 100 watts. So 100 watts times 100 CPUs, that's 10 kilowatts. We're doing it for half a kilowatt. Crazy. And you can see here, all the cards are running at around 2.6 mega hash, except for this one. It's kind of a slumper. I don't know why. I mean, they're all running the exact same settings, uh, which is funny because this card actually on ET hash gets 34 mega hash. It's got a great memory controller, but for some reason, the uh, cores are very weak on it. And we're pulling basically the same power as ET hash. So this is insane. Let's go to Octo 2, which is similar. It is 6600 XTs. But then I got two 6700 XTs, and we can see we jumped from 2.6 mega hash to 3.8 mega hash. And I also have a 6800 on here. Of course, again, we're sticking into this reporting error. So let's go to the command line for Octo 2. And you can see we're getting 6.1 mega hash on that 6800 non XT. 
at what wait at what wattage? 125 software watts, probably about 150 wall watts. That's it. Insane. Uh, it definitely seems to be more geared towards AMD GPUs than NVIDIA. I'm going to show you now on Octo 3 because I have a mix there. See, I still got two more 6700 XTs getting 3.8. And I got a 3070 Ti running basically at 234 watts just to get 5 mega hash. Terrible. Uh, my 3070s, I had to lower them down to eight to 1400 on the core instead of 1800 uh i would get what 4.5 mega hash on them but they were just burning up and they were pulling like 160 170 watts and it definitely is the lhr cards the cores are just burning way too much heat it's not efficient well it's still more efficient than a cpu miner but they're definitely not winning out in efficiency. AMD definitely wins when it comes to this new development with Curve Hash and Wild Rig Multi. Oh, jeez, the 5600 XT just out of the out of the doors getting one mega hash. I yeah, I know, right? Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. The, there's that same error even on only two cards. The the last card has an API report error, but it should still be fine. Wow. I, it should. What's on your um? What's on your uh, MOTD watch? Yeah. Yep, there three. we go. That, uh, the, we're getting diminishing returns, though, but we hit three mega hash on it. I would say that's probably where you're going to see. Yeah, push into 1400, you know, we're just going to burn heat or it's going to crash. Well, it's running 43 on the core. It's not exactly hot. No, it's not, but yeah, you're going to hit the max of what that car can handle or that architecture. Oh, yeah. Seems weird looking at a card doing three mega hash and being out and being shocked by it. Yeah, well, I think because it's actually that. fast. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, like being out, like shocked by three mega hash and, and for a good yep, reason. There like, we go. Uh, there we go. Three mega hash. So yes, after playing with those cards and playing with Yeti's mm -hmm. cards as well, here we are on mining pool stats stream, looking at Pulsar Coin for Curve Hash. Now you can see here. Ha total hash rate. Now, this is the mineable part. Uh, 2.74 giga hash. Uh, network hash rate, 23.99 tera hashes. That's all. The, all that extra hash rate is the proof of stake that's done through the wallet itself. I'm not going to get into the profitability of this today, the how to stake or anything else. It's just a hey, look at what Wild Rig's got going on here. Like you can see right here on Zerg Pool. Um, a thousand miners, but they've only got one giga hash. That's because this was made as a CPU mineable coin. So that's why you need a thousand workers. And here's another example right here. A hundred workers and they're only getting 17 mega hashes. Uh, I get more than that off of one eight card rig right now. And these are all CPUs. They have to be. So the efficiency is astronomically better doing this i'm not sure where the dust will land where it will end with wild rake fixing a few little bugs but he's doing great so far and this brings back a lot of extra life to amd cards whether they'd be 5000 or 6000 series when ethereum goes proof of stake so this is another option not to mention it is one of the first now gpu mineable coins that has an easy staking system. So I'm sure I will touch this in more detail in the future as this develops. I wanted to get this out there for all the CPU miners that are interested in it. And uh, GPU miners, if you want to take a look at this, give it a shot, see what's going on. Uh, I will be available down in the Misfit Mining Discord down in my own little room. Say hi to everyone else while you're there as well. Uh, I believe I have a link down below also for Rabbit Mining. He is the OG. CPU miner. He goes ad nauseum on information and he has a whole room just for Pulsar coin, which they are already talking about this. You can get more information there as well. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.